Hello everyone, this is going to be a simple step-by-step -step guide with commentary on the equipment slot glitch, also known as the accessory slot glitch in Neo 1. This, I, I'm not the one who found this, as well as have this glitch having a lot of coverage already. However, every time when I try to, re when I want to reference this glitch, I end up finding like one hour videos of someone doing it without an explanation or some pretty crappy stream without any explanation as well. So I think that it's, I'm gonna make a easy step by step guys so anyone could follow and learn this and pick it up and play with it easily. So what this glitch does, just so in case you don't know, it lets you equip equipment that that is not supposed to be in the slot in other slots. So for example, right here, you can see that I have a katana in my accessory slot that's not supposed to be there and you can equip it regularly. And what's so good about this is that it lets you get all the bonuses on the katana even though it's in the accessory slot. As well as in Neo 3, in Neo 1, <laughs> the accessory do not have a grace bonuses or a set bonuses. So doing this would let you, allow you to get one additional piece or let you easily get to your uh, desired set pieces and graces set bonuses um, if you're missing one piece and you want to put it somewhere yeah and to show you that these effects all stacks and all work even though it's in the accessory you can see that in my status page at the very bottom even though I'm equipping nothing except that katana in my accessory, I'm still getting that skill damage EI quick draw and nullify weapon weakening, which is the one on this katana. As well as the grace bonuses too. So without further ado, let's get started into how to do this glitch. So before anything happened, you want to set a goal of mine. Um, so for this example, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a dragon sword, this dragon sword right here, into my range slot. It's just always good to start with something in mind so that you know what you're doing and that it, you you can make adjustment accordingly. And before anything happen, the one you want to put into a weird slot, you want to put it into your storage house. So in this case, the, I want to put this dragon sword in my range slot. So before I do anything else, I put this dragon sword into my storage house. So the main thing you're going to interact with is definitely one of these um, equipment slot that has two of the same ones. So like the melee weapon ones, the range ones, and the accessory ones. You cannot start this glitch in your uh, armor slots because there's not one in the same one. There's no two headpiece, two torso pieces that you can interact with. And for this example, I'm going to use the range one. So first step, what you're going to do is you're going to pick a bow or whichever one you pick. You're going to pick something and then you're going to equip it on their first slot. After that, you're going to save that into your equipment set. Then you're going to equip the same thing but on the second slot instead. So same example on the second slot. 
you're also going to save that like this. And then, so the next step, we're going to confuse the game by making it think that whatever we, we're equipping, we're not actually equipping it. And you do that by just loading the first save, the second one, and then the first one. So right now, this bow is technically glitched. You have con successfully confused the game. As simple as that. And how do you check, how do you make sure that it is actually glitched? Well, to demonstrate, let me equip this dragon sword. You can see that when I equip something, there's a yellow glow behind, beside it. And you notice that I do not have the option to interact with it like sending it to the storage house when I have it equipped. Unless I have it on equip, I can do that. However, for this bow, even though I'm equipping it, you'll notice that it doesn't really have the yellow glow. So that it means that the game doesn't think that you're equipping it, even though you are. And so you can interactively, you can interact with it the same way as you interact with other gears that you don't have equipped. And this is crucial because it let us send it to the storage house. So what that gonna do is when you send this to the storage house, it's gonna create a vacuum. And that lets you allow that allows you to put whatever other things you want into that spot. And so if I just send it, this exact bow, if I send it to my storage house, you'll notice that it, doesn't, it no longer pops up. So right now it's a vacuum. And that's going to let us uh, put the sword in. And af so after you, put, you created that vacuum, you send that bow into your storage house. What you want to do is... You want to go to whatever you want to put in that spot. So for ex in this case, the dragon sword, you want to send it back into your inventory from storage house. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like it works. And that's just because there's a really efficient window of opportunity. You can, you can, you ha need f for this glitch to work. So you have to do this process in a very efficient and fast manner for it to work properly. So that just do it again. Before anything happens, you send the thing you want to put in other spots into your storage house. Then you want to equip you want to do the glitch in one of the two spot sections. So in this case, it's bow. You want to pick a bow. You want to put it in the first slot, save it. Put it in the second slot, save it. And then you want to load it in the pattern of first, second, first. And now it's bugged. And then you're gonna create the vacuum by sending that exact bow that's bu that's bugged into your storage house. And then you're gonna quickly send whatever you want back into your inventory. So you see right now it worked that I have successfully put my dragon sword in my range slot as intended. And after you have successfully done it, you simply want to save it so that you can always go back to it. So if one day I decide to unequip it or something wrong happens, you can always just load it so that it goes back to the same place. 
and as well as interacting other with other things wouldn't really change this uh glitch wouldn't even deactivate it so i can just put my other set on for example yeah and you notice that the dragon sword is still remained there despite So yeah, that's the equipment swap glitch or accessory swap glitch. I'm going to I'm going to do this in a different example. So this time I'm going to put that same dragon sword that we had we used earlier. I'm going to put it into the accessory slot. And it's the same exact process. Just this time you're interacting with the accessory ones instead. So again, before anything happened, you're gonna send that thing you want to put in different slot into your storage house. So my dragon sword into my storage house. In this case, I'm gonna equip one accessory, preferably one that's easily identifiable so you don't get confused. So I'm gonna put it in the first slot, I'm gonna equip it in the first, first slot, accessory slot. I'm gonna save that. I'm going to equip the same accessory in the second slot. I'm going to save that. I'm going to confuse the game by loading my save in the manner of one, two, one. After it's bugged, I'm going to same, send out exact same accessory into my storage house to create that vacuum and then I'm just gonna send whatever I want back into my inventory just to show that it actually works you gotta be doing it pretty damn fast For it to work properly. I mean, it's not the same exact dragon sword, but you get the point. And then after you succeeded, you simply want to save it. There we go. So that's how you do the accessory item, the accessory glitch, or item sword glitch, whatever you want to call it. Well, you might be wondering, well, if we cannot. Can we also do it for the armor parts as well? The answer is yes, there's way to do it, but it requires a second step and I'm going to cover that in my next video. So yeah, that's how you do the equipment uh, swap glitch and I hope you find this useful and play around with it on your own leisure.